most of the impact was seen really in Kingston, St. Andrews, St. Thomas, and Clarendon. Um, there are five hospitals, seven health centers, and the KSA Parish Department and the NPHL lab that was affected. Um, with all of this, the services in all of the hospitals, health centers were were able to re adjust. Um, uh, they followed their necessary evacuation protocols. The buildings, um, some of the buildings had some minor cracks. All of them were inspected, and there is the full resumption of all services throughout the Ministry of Health. You may have had some co disruption in your commercial services in terms of goods and food supply. Um, the environmental health team through the parishes and across the island are actually working to ensure that goods that have been damaged, damaged um, in supermarkets and other areas across the island, that they are n and those that are unfit, have been deemed unfit or contaminated, that they are not being put back into circulation. So our health, environmental health team has that under control. The all hazard approach is what we actually do with the Ministry of Health and that has been put in place. So we're fully back to normal. 97 schools have now reported some impact on our building officers across the length and breadth of Jamaica are out carrying out our assessment. To date, the report are more significant coming from Region 2. 16 reports, and also Region 1, I beg your pardon, 38 schools, followed by Region 2, 16, and Region 6, 14 schools. There is a critical incident management plan which informs how our schools should proceed in the event of an earthquake or any act such as this. We are in the during the process of the earthquake, the, the teacher or the person instructing the class will instruct the students on the safety requirements, go on the table or stand or a door jam. The school administration will take a best judgment thereafter to occupy the space, followed by our technocrats to give a technical assessment and functionality of the building.